So, um, when we were streaming last time, we was playing this Klaus map, and we got to a point, and we was we was pretty stuck. We was pretty beat, and we was uh, against the walls, on the ropes, whatever you want to kind of call that. And um, yeah, we was really, really struggling indeed. And uh, I played around with it a little bit off camera in between sort of uh, the stream, and I was on the verge of giving up and reaching out to Klaus and saying, look, I honestly don't know what to do. What can we do? And I like written out this whole message here that you can see on screen. Uh, so you see, I'm pretty down stuck on this one. I really don't see a way to get to the ending. Can I ask blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to spoiler what I thought, or, or I just put a spoiler down because I didn't want to spoil anything for anybody that may be reading. And just before I hit the, the post comment button, I had a thought. And I tested out the thought, and it turns out the thought was actually the way to solve the map. And we are so, we were so close on Saturday night, so close to solving this. And um, yeah, it's really, really clever. And something actually that stuck with me uh, was something that Conclan had said on Saturday night about um, the, the funnel. And I, pretty, I was pretty sure I needed to take the funnel with me but at the same time, I also needed to keep the um, panel, uh, the portal on the panel for the laser, which was like the sticking point. But I managed to work it out. Like I said, we were really, really close to solving this. So uh, we're going to jump into that right now. And hopefully we'll get to finish this off within literally a matter of minutes. If I can remember the steps I did earlier on, it really wasn't that difficult at all the the steps weren't that long let me just uh put that there while everything sorts itself out uh so make put onion pineapple chili mushroom tomato blue cheese olives bell pepper uh quite a lot of ingredients indeed yeah i agree fumbly what is going on hope you're well okay so we did this previously so this is the state where we last saved we've got the laser cube on that button giving us the forward funnel right there and we've just respawned the red cube here and what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a bit of uh, cube swappery here so we're going to if i remember rightly bring this cube down to here and put it in front of here to open up this panel here we're then going to portal across to here. Crazy! Thank you very much for the two months. You absolute legend. Thank you very much, buddy. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. This is your fab. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, swap the cubes. Never thought about swapping the cubes. So, that's what we're going to do there. We swap the cubes. Now, we're going to want the funnel back. But it doesn't matter that the fizzler's here now, because and that because that is open, we can simply do this. And we can portal over to there. Hopefully. And this will take us through to this side. I'm very well, thank you, Mr. Fab. How are you? Thank you very much once again, Crazy. I really appreciate the support. So now we have the um, we have on the funnel. And now what we can do is respawn the red by simply moving this. And we're going to pull the red through to there. Now the key point here is we have the blue cube with us. So before when I was trying this, we were pulling the cube across to here. And then we were switching out the portals and we were losing the funnel. But now we have the portals where we need them. And we can take this across to uh, with us over here. Pull ourselves over here drop down into here and uh, I'm not happy with that placement this is like one of my only gripes about this it would have been really nice if this was kind of like some better way of setup although I don't know how you would do it so now we can simply place that there that is in the right position we have the portal in the right place we can send both of our cubes across to here and we simply put a portal onto there, position the cubes over here, and we are done. Just like that, we were so close. 
we were so close to finishing this and um, like I said I was on the brink of giving up and reaching out to Klaus but I had one final idea just before I hit send on that comment and uh, we made it so uh, yeah what's going on Sheepdog hope you're well welcome welcome and uh, yeah there we go nice map though from Klaus it's very very difficult and you know there's no comments no videos no nothing on the um, the page um, it's a real good map there was just a couple of little things that um... <laughs> second time you've entered the stream Mr. Fab's been talking about you hashtag stalker and um, there's a couple of things that I, I was wasn't particularly a fan of first of all there's just like that like I said that laser panel moving that laser panel I, I'm not a big fan of doing that and the other thing was like moving the panel uh for the button the fact that i had you have to keep like spamming a portal on there until it like blocks it and gets into the right position i wasn't a particular fan on but the rest of it i thought was a really nice map um a, a real challenge indeed a, a good level of difficulty so well good job klaus well done well done well done and uh, we move on to the next and uh if uh anybody is uh gets spooked easily then look away now because we are heading over to the office prank halloween trick or treat bonus map and uh yeah i'm uh, looking forward to some spooks big fan of the originals and they were quite spooky so i'm quite interested to see what uh has been done in this one and um, please record a playthrough. I'd love to see reactions and feedback. Content warning contains scary imagery that may not be suitable for some. You play as the employee of Aperture on the workday of Hallow's Eve. Scylla, the holiday management corps, has taken the liberty of decorating the offices in a spooky manner, perhaps to distract from the gloomy and stagnant mood that otherwise perme 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 permeates, permeates? <laughs> the, I don't know why I said permeates. Permeates. Yeah, <laughs> there are no mannequins in this map. Whew. This is our gift to all who cannot experience Halloween as they would like to this year. Stay safe and keep your wits about you. E to interact, mouse one to end interaction. Halloween radio by Blake Hyman, Perm temp, ambient tracks by Roy Barado, Avitro, and plot helped by Ozzy. Uh, voice service provided by Synthesizer V's Elena Forte. Alrighty then. I'm already spooked. Can we can we leave? Didn't the office didn't the office prank finish with like the guy shooting himself? I, I can't remember how the original maps played out in the end. Happy Halloween! Very spooky. Costly greetings and why ye? Welcome to the Aperture Summons Halloween event <laughs> You did indeed, Fumbly. I'll be your guide. Head on in through that door. Alright, there's some uh, pretty neat details going on here. Over here. We, 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 we gotta... We gotta explore the whole area, of course. I think we just gotta... An ode to developers and people that have helped out, I think. Really spooky, though. Despite rumors of paranormal occurrences How did you get here? I have been required to inform you that this tour is completely safe. Is he real? How long has he been sat there, Scylla? You can tell me? No? Okay. Stay safe from undead mods this Halloween. I can't jump. No fair. No fair. Spooky. Very spooky. Hey, there's a ghost here. Hey, that's illegal. Why is it legal? It said take one. 
It said take one. Why is it illegal? When was this map requested? This map was sent in on a long time ago. Yeah. I really need to have a bit of a clear out on this because uh, I've got like nearly 600 map requests that I've received on the forms. Uh, up here somewhere. Here we are. It was requested on the, actually on Halloween, the, the 31st of October at 9.46 a.m. So, uh, yeah, it was requested in October. Hi, I'm Scylla. I'm so funny. Not. Uh, let Spider be moving. Authorized personnel only. Yikes. Can I take the ladder? It's really bizarre that I can't jump because I normally jump everywhere in Paul. a big spider. Oh, the turret side. The turret's pretty cool. Uh oh. We've got to go into the spiders. From this point onwards, you will complete the rest of the tour on your own. Have fun! I will complete the rest of the tour on my own. I don't like the sound of that. Big spooks incoming. This all looks a bit actually familiar. I kind of, yeah, kind of seems familiar. I think we came to this area before in the previous office prank to get a portal gun. I may be wrong. It was a very similar area anyway. Uh, okay. I guess I can put a portal up this top area now, right? It'd be quite interesting now. I'd be quite interested to like, go back and actually play the original. So I'm sure that was, uh, like I say, an area in the original. Hello. Boo. Boo. I wonder if like something happens if I uh, get to the end of the level and I've picked up all of those uh, please take ones. How do I even open this door? Am 
magic hands. Remember seeing Deathwish play this? And I think we have to ourselves this year. Follow me. I'll get you back to your door. Help! 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 There's something in I think generally, though, Mr. Fab, like, Portal does have that kind of creepy ambience about it anyway. So when you add extra spooks on top of it as well, it's a bit like, ooh. the way? I guess not. Ah. Wait a minute. There was more of them things here a moment ago, right? Pretty sure. I could not walk that though. That I could not do that before. Strange things are happening. I remember him. Uh, I remember being in the stream where he was uh, returning to play Portal for the first time, but I don't, I don't remember him playing the uh, the office prank on the same stream. Okay, I guess we're going to go in there. Could also go up here, of course. Although well, uh, there is nothing here. I do kind of feel like a lot of some of these areas have been like kind of like reused, which is really nice. To get that like reusability from the uh, the original maps. Oh, okay, that made me jump a little bit. I wasn't expecting that one. All right, you got me, Camden. You got me. <laughs> you got me with the spook. Death wish has been summoned. He has appeared from somewhere. What's going on, buddy? I see that chair spinning. I don't think I didn't. I don't trust these things. I'm gonna shut these doors. Or did they just seem to get a bit closer? Deathwish remembers. Crazy seems to think this was the same. You, you played this like the same stream where you uh, played Port for the first time. Okay. 
He was stuck there. Oh, I see that spook. Let's follow the spook. Spook me. I didn't like the sound of that. That was pretty spooky. <laughs> you were stuck here for a while because you didn't see a, a path in the dark. I don't trust that these crushers will not just like turn on and obliterate me. I'll be honest. you come from? I guess I gotta go up. Thinking about playing Portal 2 campaign, it's about time, Deathwish. It's about damn time. You know, you've got all these hours on Portal. You've still not played the campaign. So, real talk a moment though. Could I not like trap myself here? Not that I want to or anything, but. I'm sure it's been thought of, but can I not like place a portal somewhere else? Like there. Does that not then trap me if that door's locked? The diamonds. Yeah, I'm trapped. Unless I have to come backwards. Um, because I can't then open my door. My door. I can't open that door, I mean. Sorry. Spooks of um, I'm a little further down the hallway, I see, but I can put one behind.
Mhm. Uh, I think I, I I heard that's that's like a, a world record that will never be broken, Sonny. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. I mean, I'm just backtracking here. I'm pretty sure this is not the right way to go. Because I can't get out of here. Yeah. So, it's... I could get out of there. I could pop all there and then go backwards. No, it just seems to me though that there's if you do what I did and you change the portal surface and you don't have to come backwards, then you kind of like broken the map or almost. But we'll keep exploring, keep backtracking and whatnot, things and stuff. Death wish Mr. Trigger because he portal around it. Awesome job, Deathwish. Uh, also, again, I think I'm stuck here. I've um, soft locked here as well. So that's potentially like two things there which can completely break the map. Trust me to find them. All right. Anyway, we we're here. We're looking for a way to go here. the true ending. Excellent. Did not see that one coming. Oh. Where did this I, I, I totally missed that. I totally missed the fact that the door had been blown off the hinges. Not at all spooky. I heard like another noise then, but it's 
It's my freaking mouse cable. Somebody wants some help. And of course that was going to happen. <laughs> Change my light color. I think I've got my lights on, Sonny. <laughs> Go to the next test chamber. That one's complete darkness. All you can see is a microphone in the silhouette of my face. Tray, spooky, spooky, spooky. Oh, we're going this way. Uh, sure. Do we have a dead core? Was this like a court, the core graveyard or something? Oh my goodness. They're all gonna get me. Maybe Deathwish is in there somewhere as well. He'll be able to get me for sure. Oh, the gun's here. Gun is here. Ah, uh, we never left. We never left. We inhabit those who will never see light and never know the dead from deathless those who can be controlled will submit to submit to who who are we going to submit to? The Halloween cause? Uh oh, the mannequins are back. You said no mannequins. You lied to me. You lied! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, um, I mean, uh, it wasn't as spooky as I thought it was going to be, if I'm completely honest. But, um, let there be light. That little blue on camera, that's like purple. Oh. Oh, yeah, it wasn't as spooky as I thought. I'm honest, but, uh, no, it was a good map. Like I said, I, I kind of, like, recognize a lot of places in that map from the original, so I kind of feel like there was a lot of the original like locations were rehashed and redecorated for Halloween, which is like a really cool idea as well. Because, uh, yeah, that doesn't really work too well, does it? To be honest. Uh, but no, it's really cool. Need some smooth jazz. Maybe we'll get some from Brimstone from SP2G50,000. Maybe he's got some smooth jazz for us, Sonny. Um, Alright, so let's look at the um, description for this one. 
My entry for trial by fire nine, immovable, and the theme of this contest is centering your map around an element that's facing at a non-portable surface. I chose the faith plate, hope I chose well, and I also hope you enjoy the map. Thank you once again to expert map cheeser um, NMI5 NMI for playtesting. Uh, map contains a closed solid field, which I tried to avoid, but in my opinion, using it was the best option I could find for this map. All right. Let us proceed. 57 to go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not a lot to take into notice here. And I guess at the faith plate. Oh boy, this is. Uh, there's a fair bit to this one. Can't see anything into there at the minute. Now, however, we could possibly do something like that and fling over there. That turns that off, but turns the fizzler on. And it looks like there is some um, dot signage as well, so we should probably take a look at that as well. some point. So we can do that and we can use that to fling up to wherever we may need to fling to. And chances are we might want to fling over here. Get over to this side. This will give us a cube. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's nearly a year old. Like I said, uh, we are very behind with map requests. Okay. We'll do that. It will allow us to get up into this other area here. a glass it's too high so I can't utilize that okay so how are we gonna get into this area behind the fizzler I wonder can we is there a way that we can go back I wonder. assuming this will just give me far too much well, I don't think it will give me enough actually Oh, well, there we go. So now we can use the faith plate to then get back to the upper area, like so. And that allows us into here. Okay. Everything's pretty cool so far. Got another button up there, and that button will do what? It will disable that fizzler. Do some other stuff. It's a little bit... Oh, it looks like it'll turn this on, but I wonder if it'll turn it from a... Um, I wonder if it'll turn it from a normal sort of laser field to one of the, like, Fizzler laser fields. I wonder. So from here we could do... do that, and we could get up to the top. Check out what we can see from up the top here. Okay, so that's obviously all gated then. It's an all gate. But from here we would want a portal at the top there so we can get the cube and then head back. Another area up here. 
so maybe not actually we can go back we can go through the angled panel and we'll be able to respawn the cube that's another option oh that's actually too far interesting very interesting i wasn't expecting to kind of go that far if i'm honest i wonder though however if i can get a portal see like crazy enjoy the rest of your day wonder if there's a way i went from there last time then i was just three it's only two That air up there, let's see, that's maybe a way round somehow. Okay, so is there a way that I can... Mm -hmm, maybe... thinking this. Now the problem here of course is that we will lose Conklan! How you doing buddy? What's going on? Doing this though unfortunately will lose us our uh, portals on this side because as I demonstrate we'll fly through Fizzler. We do end up in this upper area here. Which is quite interesting. I wasn't expecting to get up to here. So that allows us almost like a, a reset, I guess. Hmm. So that, Mishfab. Hope your day. Hope your day is not that tough tomorrow. Seems a bit overkill, but I'll do this. Okay, we've done a thing, we've done another thing. And now I guess we're going to have to go up to the top with this. Epic. Should we try that again? Make it a little bit more epic this time. Okay, so we're up to here. That's what got opened. So we need to end up in the middle. So I'm guessing here. Actually, I think that white field will actually block us, won't it? Alright. 
So now we just need the cube. I guess all we need to do that then is do this, right? Boom, boom, and boom. Cool map, cool map, cool chamber. I liked it a lot. Some of the geometry didn't. Uh, I didn't think about it was going to be uh, the way it panned out, but um, no, that was real cool. Good work, SP2G50,000. Next up, we've got another one from you, which is a Calamari. You fancy some squid? All right, this one, uh, map is centered around lasers and fizzlers. Enjoy, I was originally going to make this map in Hammer, but then it ended up taking a lot more time than I expected and the plans for that map fell through, so I made it in Puzzle Maker instead. The map actually based loosely on one of my older maps, S-Boxes. I removed most of the clutter though. Thank you once again to NMI5 for playtesting and the music is obs Obscuration by Harry Callahan. Nice little thumbnail as well with a a little red squid. All right. It's one of those buttons which I don't really know what it does. I love those buttons. They're the best. All right, so I can walk through here. Can't do, however. Let's take a cube through there. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, so so I can do that, and I can do that and walk through here. Looks like we can get ourselves another cube. It's a regular cube. Okay, so with this regular cube, square, what did square do? What did square do? Square is half of that. Going to disable that. So I could put a portal anywhere in here if I wanted. It doesn't really help though, but we're ultimately going to want to have a cube. Okay, does that actually make a difference? Because if we don't have a surface here. Um, Ah, so that's X. So I'm thinking, I mean, what we should have done instead is... We should do this, and then we should go through here instead of here. But no, we still cannot see. I thought maybe if we swap the cubes around, we'd be able to see that surface there. And we could probably cheese it. But obviously that's not going to be the right thing. Not you. All right. So that deal is off the table at the moment. So we can disable this one. We can't disable this one.
but why don't we do this then and bring that cube through to here. Then we can bring this one into here and we can take this through into this area here. We can aim this cube somewhere to there, say. Then we're going to take this one back over to the other side. Back on here, then point it across to there, and then we will be able to walk around. So, how many cubes do we need? Do we need both of them? We do need both of them. So I guess the first thing to do is going to be to replace the laser here. Once that's done, we can respawn that cube because this one will remain open. That shouldn't have any effect on our operating over here. I guess that is dot. So then we're going to want to do need that open anymore, so we can do that. We can then put that one there, bring the cubes through, and we are done. Nice little laser logic puzzle there. Thank you very much for that one, uh, SP2G. Pretty nice one indeed. Next up, we have Altum by Capucci. I think we've got a bit of a... I think we've actually got a bit of a Capucci. Yeah, we've got three on the bounce next up now from Capucci, starting off with this one. And uh, let's look in the description. Fall your way up. That's all we got on this one. Um, of course, it'd be rude to. Uh... Oh, can't get rid of it. It's mono ball. And big rip. <laughs> I was just like minding my own business, and we fall into a pit. Good job, Nuck. Good job, indeed. Okay, so we have gel. Turret doesn't really seem to serve much purpose at all there, if I'm honest. Alright, so then we can hopefully get up to this other area over here. The gel was permanent as well. The gel was permanent. Does that help? Possibly. Anything there, we need to have bounce gel and play for that. Now, do we have enough to? I don't think we have enough, though, just unfortunately, to uh, bounce up here without the cube being on that platform. So we'll carry on for the time being. This just looks, I'll be honest, a little bit horrific.
I do not like the look of this. Obviously, that's on a wave player some description. If we jump down from here, we're just going to be able to um, make it into the... We're just going to make it to the other side. Is that the idea here? Yeah. Not really sure what the idea is here. Maybe just some decoration. Well, there is a door there, though, and there's. Mm, I can't imagine that door leads to anywhere. That one certainly doesn't. So yeah, there. I think they're just for decoration. More than anything. Okay, so don't need to do anything with that. So then, what we're gonna do? What are we gonna do? Try and grab the cube and fail miserably. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I wonder if I need to get some gel. meant to just like fly out of there and land in the right place if I could get if there's enough gel there of course yeah okay so I can totally do that now that I've got the cube it might be a little bit easier now that I've got the cube it might be a little bit easier I said, now that I haven't got the cube, it might be a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Told you once we got the cube, it'd be a little bit easier, didn't I? Told you. Um, so I guess we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Alright, I'll put you down. No worries. No worries at all. And then we will jump over here. Drop the cube, of course, that's mandatory. Actually, we can probably just fly across here now. Not to worry about flinging. Swap the cubes. Uh, 
should be about it. The cubes came to the exit. And we are out. Yeah. Interesting uh, that they chose to add some decorations there right at the end. Um, was slightly confusing as to whether or not it was part of the solution or not. Especially when you kind of like lead, you put a button up there and you're leading the player up in that direction. Um, but yeah, um, it's good. good. Put one down. This one is called Cubed Away. You think the decorations are part of the puzzle, but how would you use it though, Sheepdog? How would you use it? Well, the angle panel didn't really do anything other than just like send me over the water. Not sure that it was uh, it was part of the. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that you needed it to be fair, but that's just my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own. Uh, cubed away is next. Uh, I made this test myself. There is a solution though. Devishly him. Sounds like Capucci is wheelie in disguise. You could grab the cube and use the angle part. I don't think the cube spawned high enough though, did it? I, 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 I don't think the cube went high enough. For use of that. Yeah, you see that it just doesn't To me the the cube doesn't go high enough to be able to use it as part of the solution. Because you've got to think the faith plate like sends you quite high to make it up to there. Are you saying like to go over to here? Put a cube on here. Because that's just nothing. And there's nothing on this side. Okay, so what you mean instead then? Okay, I get you now. So what what you're saying is, instead of the way I put the cube up there, I could have just done this, then put this here. Ah, <laughs> okay. I got there in the end. Got there anyway. Anyway, should we uh, should we crack on with the next one? Which I can't remember what it's called. Cubed away. That's what it was called. Cubed away. Come on, you've already solved it once. Less than a minute ago, you solved this puzzle. Do it again, please. Less than a minute ago. The uh, purpose of that one was. Okay, so cube on here, we can somehow. Respawn that. It's fine. We need to swap the cube here. Yeah. 
because that's just a big pile of death in many different ways. There's a big pile of death. Oh, maybe I should have stayed on the button. Alright, let's do that again. Maybe that's the point. I summoned the button, I pushed the cube across to me. Right. Are you for real? What I'm thinking is, push the cube across. And then I will get it up to there and push it on that button there. That's what I'm thinking. So now I need to I don't want to do this. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that at all. Let's pretend, because I love that game, let's pretend it's the best. Let's pretend I did that instead. Then, I do that. Okay. Now. The real question is now. How do I get back over to there? Oh. Do I even need to get over there? Because could I not just do this? Hmm. Something's not right there. Because in effect, I don't need to use that button. That button's not needed then. My thought process was that I would have to go in there at some point to do something. But I guess not, because once you've got the cube up there anyway, you're kind of you I was isolated to this side. If I was over there, I maybe could have done something, but there was no way for me to get into there in the first place. Yeah, well, I guess uh, there's potentially then stuff in there that uh, isn't needed. We always leave that niggling bit of doubt in the back of your mind when you have maps like that, which like you're not really sure as to uh, whether it's um, intended or not. Anyway, this is the last of the Capucci triple header, and this is Impulsus.
And the description says, haha, test subject, go we. Another monopole. This next test, test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. All right, so we're gonna sprint out of here with some uh, some of this gel. Um, and do things and stuff, but for now we're gonna go over to the other side. Uh, because it's mono portal. And the big question is will this turret see me coming? And I guess not. When I walked into that chamber there originally, the the first thing I thought of was um, the puzzle from the main campaign. Um, oh. oh, what's its name? The one where at the end, Glados pretends to call your parents. Can't for the life of me think what it's called. But yeah, I don't know, I just walked into here and that's the, the puzzle, the first puzzle that came to my mind. That was a DBG. You know what? Um, maybe I should get a. I think maybe I should get the uh, cube in here first, but I don't think that's going to make much difference actually. I need that panel anyway, don't I? So yeah, that won't work. Did that. It's a thing that was done. Yikes. Now we go and retrieve that. Now we can go get the cube back because this is now open, so we can just respawn the cube using this. So, I think all we need to do now is use the speed gel on this surface here. I 
think not just made a boo boo. We shouldn't have despawned that. Um, because we need just to open that up and bring the other one across to here, so yeah. Doesn't actually matter whether you use the uh, the cube or the edge of the safety cube then for the exit. Both will suffice, but uh, yeah, there you go. We are done. Didn't like the um, bling, if I'm honest, to get the edge of the safety cube. I uh, I wasn't a big fan of that. I am honest. Uh, all right, so what we've got here, we've got Surface Meltdown. Now, this is a collab, I think, by T1 and Mystical Ace. And on my details here, I've got it's uh, uh, a pretty simple and short map that's more of a style guide. Main mapping by T1, additional mapping by Mystical Ace. Thought you might like the detail, might give you some information for your own maps. Can't easily add more than one link in the fifth box. So here are the links to both of our channels. Uh, okay, cool. So it's uh, more of a look. It's more of a style concept than anything else. Um, if we look at the actual description, map is made using as made purely as a style guide for visuals and ambience as part of thinking with Portal's fifth mapping composition, picture perfect. And uh, yeah, mapping by T1, additional mapping by Miss Glace, and they've used models from T1, Infra, and Camben. And uh, textures from T1, Jose Pez, Kanban, and Infra. So, some uh, Infra stuff would be quite interesting. And uh, seems to have a, uh, have a large hole in the ceiling. Just right through to the nice guy. Already sounds pretty interesting. Hope to see some camera batteries lying around there. I'll be happy if I don't see any. Ooh, there's the moon look. Not a true moon. I can't portal on it. Down vote. This button appears not to work. Maybe I'll find batteries for the portal gun maker. Maybe maybe that's what's gonna happen in this one. Thing, no, I, I, the only thing, the only, the only thing I, I, I'm thinking of obviously is the main campaign, but uh, I don't think I've ever seen it in a custom map. Yo, Mike, what is going on? How you doing? How you doing? Very pretty. Very nice. They're like out there, like out of the testing spheres at this point, and just building straight off in the caves, down in the salt mines. Oh, sorry. Ooh. This is Sophia by uh, Got to properly use Unicode. <laughs> uh, it's by Super, according to my notes anyway, it's by Super Aderton and Lambda Core. Let's have a look at the description. That entry to the Maker Map with a CHAP 2020 contest. A map is a tribute to the amazingly talented Victor An Antonov, 
who was the art director for Half-Life 2. He created the style guide for the Combine technology. The map's name, Sofia, is a reference to Victor's birthplace in Bulgaria, on which he would base the design of City 17. Feel free to join the Thinking with Portals community on the Discord. And then we have various credits. And there's also a download of the uh, VMF. So, uh, all right. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? It took you a while because Sheepdog and Funnel doesn't mix. I have an infinite capacity for knowledge, and even I am not sure what's going on outside. All I know is I'm the only thing standing between us and them. Well, I was. Oh wow, this looks uh, looking pretty nice already. Sound of that. Unless you have a plan for building some supercomputer parts in a big hurry, this place isn't going to be safe much longer. Well, thank you, Vance. I was just really waiting for you to uh, give me a cube. So that's going to open that. We probably don't want to do that just at this moment in time, though. Let's instead get that. That's going to give us a reverse funnel. Sounding pretty darn cool. on there and done some funky business with it. Yes. Okay. So, I think that's what we need to do. Okay. Place on there. Uh, we'll get into the funnel. Do this, and we'll do. No, we 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 messed it up. We messed it up. Let's try that again, shall we? Some will grab a save actually in the funnel because when my cat light reactions don't go off, okay. So then, what I want to do is this, I believe.
Now, what's a mistake made here, I wonder? I could bring the cube out to me here and keep hold of the funnel. Maybe keeping hold of the funnel is like the... Thanks, Siri. Um, maybe keeping the, uh, the, the funnel here is the important thing. So, we can now take the cube for ourselves. Well, that just caused a save, so I'm guessing that is the right thing to do. But how is this any different to what we had before? Okay. What if instead... I did a little bit different. Oh, because that's pushing. No, so that won't work. Let's just let's redo this a moment. Yo, Mystical Ace, what's going on? Just in time. Uh, if you guys have ever inspiration managed to that's half on Paul, I would like to buy that. I'm willing to pay like I think twenty-four dollars for that kind of mod. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be kinda nice if there was like more kind of, I think it would be kinda nice if there was more sort of like Crossover mods. Just stand here and your poor surface there where there's no physical.
You mean side death wish? I don't need a. I, I don't need the cube on the button. There's a key that will unlock the door. Why didn't you tell me that? Is so, like that doesn't fall in line with that, so I can't use that to push the cube anywhere. I kind of want to get. I think the funnel broke. Um. that you, uh, you have loads of faith there, but... I love that bug. Hold on. Are you sitting there? Then... Way to get back in the funnel. Let's think about what else I could do, though.
What could I do differently with the cube? in the end. I think this was probably after LB had his uh, went inside taking his break maker to be fair. So what's going to be vital here is... Play on your old channel? Not that old, is it, Deathwish? I've got to go in the funnel. <laughs> July 2020? About a year old. Pretty sure airboats could even probably solve world, world hunger. Just saying. Alright, so I think this is what I need to do. It's the going through the funnel. That's what causes the issues. Spoke too soon. <laughs> you know what? Even after all this time, I still cannot get these freaking portals right, man. Seriously. Portals will always be a foreign concept to me, clearly. Woo! First time. Easy map. 
Ooh. That ain't no turbine elevator. That was pretty cool, though. Like, like you, all you guys are saying as I was playing it, though, it's like deceptively on the face of it. It's a deceptively simple puzzle. Um, but yeah, some real subtle moves there. And uh, visuals were pretty darn good. All right, next up, we got funneling from Mini. Simple, and I just added a lot of detail for no reason. Just simply enjoy the level, notice any bugs, and tell me. All right. Any other information we should be aware of here, Mini? Number chamber in the facility, TIP, used to funnel from the other chamber. What? Is TIP a young person's acronym that I'm not aware of? Um, she pretty much just told me how to do half the chamber. Which is a bit uh, bizarre. Didn't see anything. Yeah, didn't see anything. Don't know what you're talking about. Fall from the other chamber, although it's not particularly easy to uh, shoot it on that pole. All right, well, very short and sweet. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to. I, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but I wanted to tell people to in the description that you need to use a fall from the other chamber. But that's just my. Uh, to pence on that. All right, so next we've got Sendificator Reloaded by Peter Lucas. Um, it uses non-regular items, including yellow and purple fizzers, as well as a Sendificator, apparently. I really guess it uses a Sendificator, but... Frankly, delighted with this, the Sendificator as a testament element, Wheaty has decided to push its usage further, hoping you can't outsmart him. Show him you're wrong. Difficulty is a medium hard. There's a walkthrough, and uh, your next puzzle is challenging under the lap, apparently. Alrighty then. Time for a challenge. Design this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. Okay. Is that just showing us? Is that showing us what the different fields do, maybe? Or is this actually part of the, yeah, actually part of the puzzle? Huh. All right, well, we can't do anything with that at the moment. We can walk over here anyway with this and not do a lot with that, but that's fine at the moment. Let's go and explore the rest of the map, shall we? X and square, but I can't see what X and square are at the minute, so uh, not really sure what that does. Observation area. Uh, looks like we need to send a button, uh, sorry, a cube, not a button, we send a cube over there. So that is that and that. So we need cubes on here, 
to do that, it seems. If there is a way to block the cube, obviously we need to get the cubes out first before we can do anything here. stops the cube from moving but obviously there's a yellow field there so we can't bring the cube through There's a way to a way to get on the rail install. Can we get this other cube out, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Alright, so we're through here. Now I'm assuming we need to activate both of these to do this. Let's see how that is of benefit at the moment. Yeah, it's going to be both of those. see how we can hmm. right, maybe I think I do can't do that. I think the um, surface is flush against the wall. I was wondering if like, we jump off the railings and have to... Um, I wonder if we have to like jump off the railings and then shoot portal while we're doing stuff there. I just want to try it, just to, just to rule it out completely. Because if I can get a portal on this surface, yeah, I, I, I've not got enough time. By the time I get over there, I'm already too far down, I think. I'm not far enough through the field in time to be able to shoot a ball on the surface, but it would have allowed me then to significate this cube out of here. So looks like I gotta bring a cube through here at some point. I mean, like this, you got like the, the one signage here, obviously this and this 
This one turns that off. Which to me would make sense that once I've done that... Definitely not. All right, so then that's not a permanent thing. I feel like the the difficulty that's like described in this map is probably going to come from like the fact that it's difficult to understand what goes to where. I feel I can do a lot though, unless I get a might be possible, but you gotta be right up against it. The other thing as well is trying that. What else to do though? That's the thing now. Kind of difficult to see.
Okay. I wasn't a fan of how like that portal surface was kind of hidden underneath here either. Okay. So... Put that cube in there. See what I need to do. goes on the centrificator. Then we have this cube. Which will redirect that into there. Sort of like a, a bit of a blind moment there. Good job this is so narrow to in in its defence. Certainly interesting. I I do think like the difficulty that the map maker sort of says there just comes from the sheer kind of like claustrophobicness of the map. Rexor a custom map in Portal Two. This map is made in PT with hammer for Portal One items. Wheatley somehow got back home and made it. He is not dumb, a dumb moron anymore. He now, he know, he know, he now the best metal ball you ever seen. I don't think, uh, uh, I don't have a link to YouTube challenge yet, but we'll include it soon. Yikes. All right, this is. Yeah, okay. I, I think this is from one of those um, quote unquote fan people. Uh, custom Rezora map made with B2, PT, Editor and Hammer. It features high energy pellets from Portal 1 and timed and infinite high energy pellet catches from Rexora, Portal 1 and Fizzlers. Yeah. Let's see if they do Mevius some justice. Uh, also as well, uh, 
I've blocked this person. Hmm. Now, this, I, I have a hunch that a while ago we was, um, when we were doing a YouTube stream, we was uh, invite, we was bombarded by somebody pretending to be a Rainbow Ranger. And I think this, this whole thing is by people who are, Hello and have got like ahead. these Welcome alt accounts. The so, um, Computer Aided yeah. Enrichment Center. To start preparing for human testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. The number one request, right, so less green ones. deadly tests. That's ridiculous. How do they know for sure the tests are deadly if they could still write the suggestion? There we go. I have the results of the last chamber. You are a horrible person. You but did Mavius proud. I'm sure Mavius will be... Um, you weren't even testing for that. Mavius will be absolutely thrilled at what you managed to achieve right there. <laughs> All right. Now we move on to the three-body problem by Mechtroid. Um, difficulty is palette cleanser. 10 to 30 minutes focus more on new or unusual mechanics than being uber tough. Challenges. The second chamber can be done without picking up the ball. The entire amount can be theoretically done with a minimum of two cube fizzles. My best is three. This was an attempt at evoking the feeling of Portal 1's much more open puzzles and escalating difficulty. That sounds interesting. Let's have a quick look in this description, shall we? Um, each room, a puzzle, each button, a landmine. Hmm. A little bit yikes the amount of um, white surfaces there are around here, but... Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. having fun yet. I asked if it was having fun yet. Oh boy. Oh, I 
can imagine it's going to be uh, more of the same. I'm guessing at some point I can use a funnel. Just not yet. Freaking buzzing noise. That buzzing noise is pretty darn awful. But I'm guessing. We can deliver this cube. It was. this. Now we're going to want to swap the cubes, which is unfortunate. Command you sent above should reset the noises. has an optional companion cube. Thanks, Ace. Alright, so let's go get this cube. Now that we've done that. Actually, before we do that, we need this laser cube. Oh, yes. And then, if you know where that voice is from. Actually, no, I don't have to know. Companion cube. Oh, my new friend. What does X do? Is this X? I bet that's X, isn't it? I'm just going to say there because I should really yeah knew it let me care thanks for hanging buddy appreciate it as always Legend. Um, hmm. 
stand here. Obviously, that's going to cause everything to respawn, so... Let's think about this. We need to work out how... We need to position these. Where we need to put them. be like really cheeky about this oh wait that's gotta to be there and there, aren't we? No, I don't want to do that. That's the problem, because... There we go. Yeah, I, sh I shot the uh, the pole on the wrong uh, the wrong surface before. There we go. I'm taking that. I am taking it. Not easy, Tony. I am not sure. Anyway, guys, I think I might just leave it there tonight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen maps. I've got through tonight. Thirteen maps. We got going, if you ask me. Well, yeah. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in tomorrow night. And uh, we will not be playing Portal. We're going to start a new Let's Play of the House of Da Vinci, as kindly donated by Mika. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start out tomorrow night. Will hopefully take us uh, two or three streams. So uh, yeah, same time, same place for that. 9.30 p.m. BST. And uh, if not, it will always be on YouTube afterwards. But until then, guys, thank you very much for hanging. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been not even awesome. Stay safe. Happy gaming.